RSS is a type of web feed format that publishes updated content. It stands for Really Simple Syndication. It contains all the information found in the normal website, but in a more compact manner. It is commonly found on blog entries, news headlines, podcasts, or any other website that has updates. RSS makes it possible for people to keep up with their favorite websites in an automated manner that's easier than checking them manually. It is usually noted by this symbol here. You need an RSS reader in order to read all your RSS feeds. One example is Google Reader, and here is my list of unread feeds. To add an RSS feed to your course, you need an RSS client box. First, you have to find an RSS feed. Let's try the official Google blog. It might take a bit of searching, but once you find the picture, there is an RSS feed. Oh, here it is. Simply hover your mouse over the picture and right click it and click copy link location. Next, go sign into your account. For this demonstration, I will be using the demo Moodle. First thing, remember that all the way on the right, you have to click the button Turn Editing On. Now on the bottom, if you already have a RSS feed block, then just click Add Slash Edit Feeds. Otherwise, find the Blocks tab on the bottom and find Remote RSS Feeds. A new block called Remote News Feeds should appear and all you have to do is click the link. On the next page, click the tabs that says Manage All My Feeds. By default, they already have Moodle News as a RSS feed. Now below in the first box, right click and click paste to paste the URL we got from before. Then just give it a nice title. Click continue. Now go back to the first tab that says configure this block. Here you can adjust the settings to however you like. Don't forget to click the feeds that you actually want to include in the final block and give it a nice title. Click save changes and voila! Here is your brand new RSS block for your Moodle course. It is, ex it is extremely useful to direct news to your students in an automatic way. I hope this lesson helped you and you benefit from the open source Moodle.